today it's 5 5 a.m in the morning i've been having contractions since midnight they were uh three minutes apart i wasn't sure if they were real labor because i've had on sunday night and then i've had on wednesday night i had contractions again but they stopped and they, but they were too all the way to 5 a.m but this time around the contractions are stronger they're getting stronger and they've never been uh like they always close apart since uh midnight but i didn't go to the hospital earlier because it was like tolerable for me uh and i wasn't sure if it was real labor but right now they are get get they are definitely stronger so i think it i think i'm really in, uh i'm truly in labor i called my my doctor she called me back and uh, she she thinks if they're really getting stronger that I should go get checked in the hospital so I'm gonna go ahead and get checked. Since I got a positive uh, result from GBS I'm probably gonna have to, to take antibiotics if I have time for that. And then right now it's putting everything in the car. Actually I don't have a video recorded here but I my guess was that the baby was gonna be born today April 30 the day I turned 28 weeks because Isaac was born at 38 weeks and four days and because his baby in the first ultrasound was four days bigger uh, I thought well 38 days uh, in four days minus four is 38 weeks so I counted the and I thought no, this baby's gonna be born on that day so and then Daniel, Daniel's guess was gonna make 10 we'll see if I'm right I don't know but I feel that this baby's gonna be born today sometime Say something. Okay, I can't see anything though. Hey guys, it's completely dark here in the car. You can't really see anything with the camera. Um, there we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, but we are heading to the hospital. So Ellen has been having contractions for actually several days, but they've intensified since midnight. It is now 5.35 a.m. That's on uh, Saturday morning, on April 30th. And so we are heading to the uh, over to the hospital. Contractions right now, how far apart? Uh, less than three minutes. They're less than three minutes apart. One minute apart, the last one. Okay, so I'm not going to be driving the speed limit. Um, <laughs> all right. So anyway, I'm going to put the camera down so I can focus on driving. And uh, <laughs> now she's laughing. I'm, now. Only, I'm, I'm only laughing. Because I'm between contractions. Because <laughs> during contraction, I'm probably gonna cry. <laughs> uh, I was right about the date. <laughs> you can't see me at all. I guess I'll see you guys in the hospital when we get there. room but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have this baby <laughs> really fast because my water broke and all my contractions are really strong right now I don't think I'm gonna try for epidural again we'll see if they change the room I think they're gonna change me to a uh, delivery labor delivery room Okay. Well, the 
this is it. Are you gonna get an epidural? I asked for it, but I don't know if we have time on. Well, if you're only four centimeters, I would think I would think so. Well, what if the brown is in 15 minutes? That's that's a possibility. That's what I'm called. Can you read what? Can I see? It's not like on the bed that way. Yeah, I don't want you standing up, but yeah, you can definitely do that. You're touching your bed, you can't. You're touching your head? Yeah. <laughs> now. You sure? Because we're getting everything all set up. Is that how you want to do it? Is she here? No. It takes her 10 minutes to get here. to me. Yes, that's what I thought too. Her face looks so much like Samuel. That's that little one that was kicking around in there for so long. This is a bracelet that matches her. Just keep it on until you guys go home and then you can put it in the baby. 
Good more. Good more. <laughs> you proud? That's fine. Can't believe it. Good job. No. Was it rough? It was. Yeah. Hey, but you did it. No pain meds, no epidural, nothing. <laughs> it's always rough, but yeah. Uh, same thing happened like last time. Did not have time for epidural. You spit them out like I do cherry pits. No, it was unbelievable. How many pushes did they do? Two? I think like no, I think yeah, maybe two. I was like on like on the second push. I was 10 at 6.27, she was born at 6.33, so like 6 minutes. But I think I only did one push for the head and one push for the, for the body. Yeah, it was very, very quick. By the time, by the, like, I went over there and looked like it and the, the head just came out immediately and then it stopped for a second at the shoulders and I think that was between a push and then another push and poof, came right out. I think it was between contractions when I actually pushed out the, the body. It was like unbelievably fast. I'm glad though, because I was like afraid I was gonna be like that for an hour. And I was having contractions every minute. Yeah, no, when she said that you're fully dilated, I knew it was gonna be fast, just based off of the other two. Yeah, but when she said I was four centimeters, I think it was 6.10 in the morning. I was like, how is that like possible? Like, yeah, then, you just, you're probably zero at home. Well, 17 minutes later, I was 10 centimeters. Yeah, you just died. I progressed from 4 right. to 10 in 17 minutes. I have no idea, but my guess was 18 inches and something. But she's gonna be more than that. I think she's gonna be closer to 20. Yeah. She's eight pounds six ounces, and she doesn't look any thicker or fatter than yeah. Samuel Isaac, which means that weight's coming from somewhere. It's gonna have to be the length. It would have to be the length. Yeah, she actually Isaac looked the chunkiest. Yeah. And Isaac was 19 inches and three quarters, almost 20 inches. So she may be 19 inches or something. She looked like she had dark hair when she first came out, but now it's starting to dry and it's looking a lot lighter when we, uh, <laughs> when she gets her bath and we wash the hair and dry it out and we're gonna really get a better look at the hair color. She might end up actually being kind of a slightly darker blonde. Yeah, I mean, I'll kind of pull this pulled up a few of her little hairs here and looked at them and then in the light anyway they look very very light so this might be our second blonde child <laughs> this one looked dark and i thought it was black but no it's not black 